Hello, my friends, and welcome to my segment of Pouring from Coast to Coast. This week was my turn to issue a challenge, and I picked what I thought was a fun and simple idea, but it actually turned out to be quite challenging. The challenge was to use colors that uh, begin with the letters in your name. You're, you can use first and last name. So my last name didn't help me at all because I have a J, a Z, and a K in it, and um, a S and a, and a C, which are also in my first name. So I just went with my first name, Chris, and chose my colors. You needed to choose four colors beginning with those letters and then you had your choice of black or white. So, this is what I came up with. My C color is Claret by Prism Pour. Beautiful color there. I skipped H. R is Rouge by Master's Touch. I is Indigo Violet, another Prism Pour paint. And S is also Prism Pour in silver. And then I chose to go with black for drama. I'm going to be doing a ribbon pour, and I love the colors on a black background. However, the second challenge I faced was that these are very dark in value. Um, it's good to have a wide variety of colors, of values rather, and that simply means the lightness or darkness of your color in um, painting because it, it will give be more dynamic that way. So, and I'm going to prove to you how similar these are in value by showing you a black and white photo I took of these. And here it is. So you can see that these two are very similar in value. That's a 10. This is probably a 9.5. These are not much down from this, probably uh eights perhaps and this one is maybe a two on the value scale so I needed more variety than that otherwise it's it's just going to be too similar these colors will get lost in each other so I took silver and added these colors to it with the exception of the black to come up with lighter values so I've got uh, a lighter value with the um, what is that the claret this is the indigo violet, and this is the rouge. So now I have a better uh, range of values. So that's what I'm working with here. And I'm gonna do my ribbon pour a little different than I usually do. I did mix up a bunch of black here. I'm gonna add this to this. Um, I'm going, rather than combine my colors in a cup and then apply them, I'm going to apply them individually to the base coat for more definition of, of color. And I think it will be fun. And then I will tilt around. I'm using a large canvas, so I am, um, I am, uh, what am I saying? Oh, zoomed out <laughs> quite a bit. So here we go, I'm using a 12 by 36 inch canvas. Let's see if that whole thing is in the camera. I think I need to zoom out even a little more. There we go, I think the whole thing's in there now. I'm gonna put down the black and then I'm going to apply the darker colors, and then I'll end with the lighter ones. I think um, that will work best. So, here we go. Scrape every bit of this out. Or not, it takes too long. I think that's enough. Now I'll 
move that around a little bit. I don't have to get complete coverage because I'll do that when I apply the ribbons. There's a lump of something I see. I'll have to fish that out. go. There it is. Oh yeah, can't have that. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with um, this lovely claret. Okay, and time to tilt. <laughs> Probably have more color than I needed because um, my black has kind of disappeared, but that's okay. It's it's peeking out here and there. And I didn't want to be skimpy on the paint. I wanted to have enough to cover the surface and the sides, of course. Better come down here while I have plenty of paint on the surface and Get more coverage down this end. I was going to do a straight pour, but at the last minute I decided to do a ribbon pour instead. I'll scrape up all these drippings and use them for a flow extender and something later on. It'll be interesting to see what what uh, my fellow artists will come up with. Lucky Brit had a has a B in her name because I I love blue and I couldn't. Uh, well, the only one I have is the indigo violet, and that's very much a violet, which is uh, one of her favorites. But and I like it too. But yeah, it was. It was a challenge. I even looked at expanding my name and using Christine. And uh, 
I just couldn't come up with colors. Except, I mean, I could use a bunch of CAD colors, but I did, I opted not to do that. All right, let's come along. Ooh, the sides are beautiful. I certainly have enough paint. Okay. And if I have any gaps um, on the sides and I see a, a couple just pretty much near the corners, I will just paint those solid black when it's dry. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me bring you, let me take off my gloves so I can stop dripping and then I'll bring you in for a closer look. I like the variation in lines, the real skinny ones that I ended up with uh, when you get to the end of the pouring out the cup. It's a lot of depth to it, applying the colors one by one, like I did. Fun shapes. I did end up with pink, pink and purple, but you know, it's okay. Well, there we go, my friends. I'll show you the dried result at the end. And now let's, uh, let's see, who's next? It's either Garrick, if he's joining us this week, or Teneva. And uh, let's head over there and see what they've come up with. Thanks for joining us this segment of Pouring from Coast to Coast. And we'll see you next time.